Today, we will learn about bacteria. Bacteria are the simplest of creatures that are considered alive. Bacteria are found everywhere. Oh, they are in the bread you eat, the soil that plants grow in, and they live even inside of you. <laughs> are you trying to look at the bacteria? It can be seen only with a microscope. Do you know how it looks? Very tiny. Very, very tiny. See, here are some pictures of bacteria. They come in all sorts of shapes, including rods, spirals, and spears. Bacteria are single-celled microorganisms. Their cell structure is so unique, they do not have a nucleus. Some people think that bacteria are dangerous. <coughs> Most bacteria aren't dangerous at all. <coughs> but some are and can make us sick. <coughs> These bacteria are called pathogens. Pathogens can cause and spread diseases in animals and plants. Some examples of pathogens are leprosy, food poisoning, pneumonia, tetanus, and typhoid fever. Nowadays, we have antibiotics we can take which help to fight against the bad pathogens. We also have antiseptics to help us keep wounds clean of bacteria and antibiotic soap we use to wash to help keep off bad pathogens. This is why we should wash our hands again and again. Most of the bacteria are very helpful to us. They play an important role in the planet's ecosystem as well as in human survival. Bacteria work hard in the soil for us. One type of bacteria called decomposers, break down material from dead plants and animals. One more type of bacteria in the soil is rhizobium. It helps to fertilize the soil with nitrogen for plants to use when growing. Do you like to eat yogurt? Well, bacteria is used when making foods like yogurt, cheese, pickles, and soy sauce. So they are our friends. There are many good bacteria in our bodies. They help us digest and break down the food we eat. Can you show the bacteria diagram to your friends? Parts of the bacteria cell. Capsula lies outside the cell envelope of bacteria. Outer membrane protects against harsh environment. Periplasm and cell wall, specialized region of great importance. Cytoplasmic inner membrane contains proteins of the nuclear. Cytoplasm, gel-like matrix composed of water, enzymes, nutrients, wastes, and gases. Ribosome, serve as a site of mRNA translation and protein synthesis. Reserve food supplies, energy reserves and readily available substrates for metabolic. Chromosome, molecule of circular DNA. Mesosome, form in bacterial cells prepared for electron microscopy by chemical fixation. You can copy and paste this chart in your room so that you can always remember this. Hope this topic is clear now. Stay tuned for more fun videos.